Okay, now I can take the sticky off so I can see everybody. All right. Um, this is the April 27th meeting of the Hartford Brainerd Airport Noise Advisory Committee. Um, and uh, it is 5.04 p.m. And we're going to start this meeting and we'll start with the um, approval of minutes that those got sent out a little light. So I don't know if anybody's got a chance to review them. So if you haven't, we can move this to the next agenda, but I'll leave it to you all to decide. You can move on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Go down the next item. Save that for next meeting, or do you want to vote on it? I'm okay with it. We can vote on it as far as I'm concerned. You guys, everyone else? I make a motion that we approve the minutes to the last meeting. Okay. So, Bob, I'll second. I approve. I third it. All right. All in favor? <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Roger. Aye. <laughs> Fred, I'm going to abstain. I was not present at the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next, uh, noise complaints. John, I didn't see a report from you all to, to send out to the group. Um, yeah. but, but you can just run down the numbers, and I can send it out after the meeting. If you can well, send I'll, I'll send it out tomorrow. Um, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm in Groton right now, and unfortunately, my training went longer than expected. Um, but I can give you the numbers. Okay. So for uh, you want the 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 complaints? You yes. Said? Yeah, noise so, complaints first. Yep, noise complaints. We had from January 26 to April 26, we had a total of 35 complaints. Um, we had 18 calls from five locations, and we had one positive call. Uh, it wasn't a complaint; it was a positive note. Okay. Hmm. I like the positive. Yeah. Well, may I ask what the positive complaint was? It, I, to be honest with you, I didn't. It was he. He said the airplane was flying over the river as, as instructed, and he was glad to see that. Okay. Right. That's exactly what it was about, Johnny. The pilot, the uh, gentleman, was complimenting that the pilot was flying the proper noise abatement procedure. I I have been monitoring. Uh, the flight path over the river and meadows and it seems to be uh quite a few and i'm glad because i got i am the one who got a change to that of the river and meadows way yep. back in the master plan i've been monitoring it as i'm looking for the eagles on the what is real side oh they're, they're out there i see <laughs> yes, them every day almost we have eagles <laughs> yes you do <laughs> they're they're a beautiful bird. Beautiful. I have my telescope and I use a uh it on a nest. Yeah. I think the the kids are about to hatch. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Bobby, did you know they found two new eagles' nests across from? If you stand on Riverside Park in Glastonbury and look across the river, there's mm -hmm. two new nests there. Uh not cognizant of those. I uh, thank you, Cindy. They uh, just found them in one of their winter walks. Oh, I, I apparently I can't see them from this side of the river. That's a possibility. Could be. I Jim Woodworth would there. have everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard they're there, but I haven't seen them. Nice. The one I'm looking at uh, with my telescope is actually on the Glastonbury side, and the parents are really busy. <laughs> anyway, the planes do not disturb them. <laughs> Any other uh, comments on noise before we move on to operations? Nothing okay. specific, just in general, the noises uh, continue. I have not had the t chance to call many in, uh, if any, but uh, there are mm, plenty of strong, powerful jets, not even jets, sometimes it's the uh, propeller in the, in, in the front. They come barreling down to make a uh, straight landing over uh, old M M Main Street of Old Weathersfield. So let it be noted that yes. there are plenty of um, you know offenders, you know, uh, kind of loud. I saw in the minutes that there was going to be an effort um, to meet with the flight schools. Did that take place, that meeting? It did. I'll cover that on, under other business. Oh, great. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Thank you. 
All right. So moving on to airport operations. Okay. Uh, for airport operations, the month of January, we had um, 4,763 flights. Uh, February, we only had 2,900. Really? And in March, we had 6,454. Um, the I'll say the reason why March by February was so low was that they were almost 12 days where we closed the airport um, for uh, the obstruction removal. And <laughs> that's why um, uh, the numbers are so low for February. Hmm. And mm -hmm. then we had some weather days too. So. <clears throat> Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Want to move on to projects? Sure. Sure. So the projects, um, uh, we are um, we're ninety five percent done with the obstruction removal. All the mechanical work is all done. Uh, we just have some hand um, cutting trimming to do. I would say, and that can't be done until. Um, uh, the water receives receives right now. So, um, and then the only last thing after that would be to uh, certify the approach, which is just being on the runway and citing it. Mm -hmm. The other, the other uh, project that's going on right now that just started today uh, is uh, the Hartford uh, study uh, for the airport. Um, today they started doing the environmental environmental borings around the airport. Uh, they're going to do approximately, uh, originally they were going to do 170, but I think they cut it down to maybe like 120, 150 borings around the airport. Uh, and that 142, is, John. 142 it is? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so they expect that to take probably two to three weeks to complete. So uh, which which study are we talking about here? Because I know we have the one that the city of Hartford did. We had the one the state. This is the one for the state. Okay. The one for the state uh, in regards to the closing of the, what should okay. the property be used for? Yep. So that they're doing the environmental part right now. Gotcha. And what are they looking for? Is there anything specific other than it, in general? Uh, I talked to them today. There's nothing specific. They're doing their environmental study. They're going down 10, 15 feet. And mm -hmm. it's just uh it's just the process that they have to go through. My, experience, part my, of the study. my experience is they look around the airports, they generally sample for um any time, type of uh, benzene related uh leakages, but also they look at jet fuel and they look at glycol because that's what's used to de-ice planes a lot of times. But um and then whatever else, you know, but it, they'll, they'll usually limit to, to the chemicals that are in, and fuels that are used in the facility just to show there's no leaking going on along the perimeter. But yeah, they're looking for past history stuff, too. You know, so that's what they're doing. There may be some other materials from 100 years ago <laughs> are not no longer in use. I hope not. <laughs> Generally, if anything that's, in the ground, ground, it, anything that's those, in the ground is probably gone by now, leached out. Mm -hmm. but... Half life. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, All right. Okay. Um, so other not business? To go Sorry. back to projects. I didn't sure. get a chance to ask uh, John. On, uh, a project obstruction removal, specifically the trees. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Yes, that's the trees. Okay. And nearly done, except for some little bit of cleanup, uh, which is waiting for uh, the right condition. The flood level. Mostly done. Correct. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. All right, now we'll go on to other business. So, um, Judy and I did um, attend a meeting with the pilots group um, that was on February 11th. Um, and I think it was a productive meeting. I kind of wish Judy was here to kind of weigh in on it, but I will just say that, um, you know, we covered a lot of 
topics of concern. Um, you know, Judy basically used the opportunity to tell them all the types of issues we talk about here and how, um, you know, we'd like to see more effort on, you know, their part to uh, be uh, active in informing their pilots of the issues. They, similar, I think some of the conversations here, they were stating how their pilots are well informed about the issues, that they um, actually uh, talk about it on a regular basis. Um, and I know that John, you mentioned um, last meeting that you, you've met with them too and informed pilots groups um, about the issues that we have. And I think you referenced then that you were having a follow-up meeting in March or April with them to just kind of reinforce that. But the, the group did promise that they would um, uh, reinforce that with all their pilots. Um, they don't feel like they're the issue. Uh, I think we discussed this last time, Cindy, you aren't here, but um, you know, the pilots in the, in the association um, are informed of this regularly. There's also signage throughout the facility and um, you know, they, they, they're well aware uh, but there are several in the in the schools as well. I know um, that's what John that's who John met with was that was the flight schools um, at the last meeting he talked about was they they've been informed and told you know what they need to do and the flight paths they should be honoring um, and uh, the pilots promised to include this in their regular newsletters and also um, offered um, that they would be willing to come to a future meeting and answer any questions. Um, they did have some hesitation about, you know, feeling like they were going to be uh, brought into uh, for the attack. But, um, you know, I told them you know, that the group is very respectful, that they would certainly hear complaints, but that, you know, that everybody would be respectful and that, you know, they would not have to worry about that. Um, so th they're willing to do that. I think there was a request that if we could do it in person for that meeting. And I think this group talked about that at the last meeting as well and said we'd be willing to do an in-person meeting mm -hmm. if we could get the uh, the pilots and maybe some flight school members present and so that we can have a frank discussion with everyone involved. Excellent. So um, I think that was the the bulk of the notes that I took from the meeting. Like I said, I'm sure Judy had more to, to come out of it. So uh, we can ask her to weigh in um, when she's at the next meeting. But overall, I thought it was a positive meeting. They were very receptive. Um, and, and again, they understand the issue. They stressed, you know, the value of the airport several times and, and wanting to maintain that. Um, so, uh, but as a, as a first kind of blush um, opportunity to sit down with them for, for my part, you know, I felt that they were very forthcoming and, and understanding, but at the same time, you know, they were, you know, very protective of, you know, what they have and, and, and want to maintain it as much as possible. So um, thank you for conducting this meeting, sir, and telling us about it. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, Agreed. Amen. Like I said, yes, she was there did. and she hit them pretty hard, I will say. You know, she was she was uh she kept going at them with, with a number of and, and challenging them on a lot of the things that they said, but I think ultimately it was a very positive meeting and conversation. And and I think, you know, she felt, you know, that it was it was it was worthwhile too. But I think it would be good for this group to have an opportunity to speak with them as well. Yes, sir. Indeed. So mm -hmm. I'll work with them to arrange something or maybe um work with John and, and and the group as well. And we can maybe set up uh, one of our future meetings, maybe the next one uh, would be a good opportunity um, to uh, bring everybody together out there and um, and see if we can get them to to attend. Um, just just a not, suggestion. Yep. That's a good idea. And a suggestion, uh, we probably will outgrow the room we normally use. We'll have yes. to find a larger room you, at your suggestions, sir. We um we can look around if if we um if we know like a count or something like that we we can look for other other locations uh at the airport we can do something out maybe we can okay. figure it out we'll just get a head count so we know what kind of size area we need yes exactly okay. not a problem i exactly. like the idea i'm for it and would be glad to join me too same. And John, when you have the opportunity, you can talk to Premier Flight again because they were um, having a little trouble yesterday finding the river. So okay. maybe you can maybe you can I mean, remind uh, them. Yeah, no, I um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. With you. Uh, I I planned on um, you know 
just because of the way noise history works in you know all you know in in this area is basically you know we're coming out of winter now so now i i do expect the next couple months the, the number of complaints to go up because people have their windows open again and they'll be yeah. out in their backyards and start doing all that stuff all over again um so but and that's i do plan on trying to get down there and meet with the three flight schools again mm -hmm. um you know so uh unfortunately um i'll reach out to premier yeah. for you tomorrow i'll be on site yeah, but I want to have a I want to have a one on one meeting with them, Bob, with me, you, and them in a meeting, and with each flight school. And I, I think it's better if we do it individually, not all three of them together. I think one on one okay. is better than, um, you know, put them all three in one room and then exactly, you know, what I mean. So that's we'll start planning that for for in the next. We'll probably do it in May here because yeah, next week's May almost. So we'll just plan. Yeah, for May. May will be over before we know it so we'll get we'll get that that's not a good idea we'll get that in place it would be appreciated is just to confirm are the numbers still holding that about 70 to 75 percent of all the flights are still those three flight schools uh because that would I make a big difference know. i i'd have to run those numbers i i haven't checked to see i don't know if we have the capability of telling if if the um if it's those tail numbers or not mm -hmm. um i'd have to go back and check the other thing i'd have to check is is the the local like like the local traffic numbers i can check on that too yeah you'd always kind of indicated it was about yeah that, i mean that yeah most of the yeah number, most but... of the traffic is local and like to be honest with you i don't have it in front of me right now but i could look at it what mm -hmm. the local traffic was and then um you know come back with that thank you i I can tell you that being at the airport every day that uh, at least 65 to 70 percent of the traffic is local traffic. Because hmm. I'm I'm on the radio every day, too, when I'm in the airfield. So um, I can say that. But John will verify everything with his numbers. If it's possible. Yeah. Great. Exactly. Be very helpful to get some answer on that. Thank you. Answers. All right, is there anything else? Any other business for folks? No. Okay. So hearing none, we will. Um, I'll take a motion to adjourn. We'll send out the. I'll send out the minutes a lot faster this time. We'll also. Um, if I can coordinate the meeting um, at the airport, we might need to adjust the time or uh, to to make it so we can have maximum attendance. But I'll I'll work with John and some of the folks over there to try to make that happen. And if we do that in the next one, we will. If not, we'll we'll do the one after that. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, everyone. So I have motion. Thank from, you, everyone. Motion from Bob. Bobby. Uh, did somebody second? Yeah, I second Bob. Okay. Bob, Thank Bobby. you. Bobby. All right. Thank you. Everyone have a good night. You, you too, too, folks. Thank you very much. Good to see you, Cindy. Good to see you all. Mm -hmm. Ciao.